Hi, my name is Mitchell Hansen, and I'll be talking about general family and school collaboration. In the general school setting, there are benefits, challenges, and strategies of including family school collaboration. According to Christensen and Cleary, 1990, when parent and teacher collaboration occur, student test scores and grades higher, higher. Another benefit that they bring up is that students are participating more and their homework completion rates are also higher. However, with these benefits, there are challenges that occur with the parent, teacher, school collaboration. Parents are humans too, and they may suffer from depression or anxiety from time to time. According to Hill and Taylor, 2004, Mothers who suffer from depression are, tend to be less involved with early childhood preparation for school. Hill and Taylor also then continue saying that parents whose children are in middle school or high school, the, pa the parents tend to be less involved in their child's school and studies. Henderson, 1988, as cited by Christensen, and Cleary, 1990, claimed that the type of involvement the parents have is not as important as long as the involvement is well-planned, comprehensive, and long-term. Christensen and Cleary then state the six ways parents and families can be involved in school. They are two-way communication, parent advocate, parent assistant in school, school-based services, and home environments and learning activities. Next, we'll have Kim Miller talking about collaborating with families of students with special needs.